Let's work through an example of a multi-body force problem involving pushing multiple boxes. As a reminder, solving force problems involves reading the problem, setting up a free body diagram, using Newton's second law to solve for the unknowns, and then checking your answer. In multi-body force problems, you have to set up multiple free body diagrams and may have to solve the equations as a system. In this example, two boxes are pushed along a floor by a known force at constant speed, and we are to calculate the coefficient of kinetic friction between the floor and the boxes. Read the problem, keeping in mind that we need to read it for clues on forces, kinematics, and masses. Note that we also have to solve for the normal force between the boxes. For multi-body problems, set up free body diagrams per object and declare their coordinate systems. Make sure to apply Newton's third law to set up your action-reaction pairs between the diagrams. If the bodies have common movement, you should also set up a free body diagram for them as a system. In this diagram, there must not be any internal forces, and the body's masses will be treated together. You can solve for the unknown using Newton's second law for the system as a whole first. Be careful on the coordinates. When solving for internal forces, you must take the system apart. If possible, solve for the simpler free diagram first, and you may not even have to set up for the more complicated diagrams. Reread the problem and consider your solution against your free body diagrams. As a follow up practice, rework the problem, this time allowing for an acceleration of the boxes.